Hytale's races are wonderful. They have their own creatures and each creature in a race has a different behavior. Some hunt and find food, some guard their own territory, some scout different areas, some help develop their young, some lead their armies, and there's so many other things that members of a race do. There's a lot to know about Hytale's races, but if we want to learn about them, we gotta make sure they're peaceful. I'll be talking about Hytale's races from the friendliest to the most evil. Before continuing, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking this video, please consider hitting the like button and slapping the subscribe button. It really means the world to me, but if you want, you can always unsubscribe. Also check out my Twitter, link is in the description. I also have a Discord, it is actually my first Discord, so it's probably not that perfect. So go check that out as well. Anyways, let's dive into the video. Let's start with the most friendliest race, and that is none other than the iconic, adorable tree people. The Quebecs are a race of creatures that start their life as baby seedlings that sprout on their tree ancestors. They grow to become soldiers, tree singers, razor leaf warriors, etc. The Quebecs are mostly a peaceful race. They love nature and everything about it. They live under trees. Quebecs are kind of like plants because they survive using sunlight and water that is taken up by them through pores under their feet. They have one main enemy, the Chorks an evil race that just wants to kill Quebecs for some reason, and the Quebecs try their best to protect themselves. These reasons are why I think Quebecs are the most peaceful and adorable race in Hytale. A little less friendly race is the Clops. These one-eyed creatures have their own life, living in their cozy hobbit hole. Hobbit hole. The Clop has a totally normal house with, a, with totally normal rooms and totally normal household stuff. <laughs> and yeah, and, and even a totally normal face, that's for sure. They are a seemingly neutral race. You can see in the concept art that there is a sword in the cellar. This shows that he doesn't like people busting into his private property. That's what makes them the second friendliest creatures for me, because they aren't that friendly. Moving further on the scale, we have the Farins. They are a race residing in the deserts of Zone 2, and they seem like a pretty powerful race. These Farins are the enemies of the Skerrix, because they were enslaved by Skerrix long ago. The reason they are the third friendliest creatures is because they are way too cautious, and they might even attack the player if they feel a little defensive. That's not exactly friendly, but they are trying to protect their families from danger, so they're not exactly that evil. They're just protective. So, third most friendliest race for me. Next on the scale are dinosaurs. Now, I'm including dinosaurs because there's something about them that really makes me want to put them on this list. By dinosaurs, I mean the T-Rex, the raptor, and the Dimetrodon. Sorry Triceratops, you're a herbivore and you are not vile enough to be on the list, I'm so sorry. These carnivorous lizards live in the tropical jungles of Zone 4. These creatures are brutal. Look at their teeth. You can already tell that they will eat any kind of animal that has juicy meat inside it. But here's the thing, these dinosaurs aren't eating other creatures for no reason. They're trying to feed themselves. Eating animals and other creatures is pretty violent, but you gotta eat food if you want to live. That is exactly why I put these dinosaurs on this place in the scale. Because they're scary and violent, but for an understandable reason. They just want to survive. Moving on with the scale, there are goblins. 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 Annoying green boys that loot all your chests while you're asleep. The goblins are little green creatures and are basically scavengers. They look for anything as long as it is physical. They have junk and precious stuff. How are they pretty evil, you ask? Imagine you're having a magically good day, but then a goblin steals your precious lovely sword and runs away. 
when you go to get it back, there's an entire army of goblins that throws bombs at you, making you run away. That's more annoying than my younger siblings. I consider that to be pure evil, and the goblins deserve to be in this place on the scale. Third most evil creatures, the Trorks. A combination of troll and orc, these creatures exist as five different archetypes. These guys are partly scavengers, just trying to survive by eating meat that they find around. I'll tell you, these guys are evil. They kill Quebex for no reason. That shows no sign of positivity and should be illegal. So they're not exactly friendly to almost any type of creatures. The position of second most evil creatures is well deserved by the Skerex, those giant insect things residing in zone 2. These things are born as larvae inside eggs that look kinda like Mandalorian Kragna eggs. Their main rivals are the Farins, who they imprisoned long ago. They live as a society, which is kinda impressive for a bunch of giant insects. These bugs are mainly focused on the development of their military and riches. You can see that for yourself in the concept art. It almost seems like they hate every other creature in the world, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But that is exactly what makes them evil. They either kill you or imprison you if you get a chance to meet them. And let's be honest, leading your own race to glory and harming other creatures in the process is clearly evil. Outlanders, a race that will stop at nothing to bring corruption to the world of Orbis. Their types are the ranger, the priest, cultist, warrior, chief, and colossus boss. These guys possess the void element, which can be used to do things like killing, resurrection, mind control, false empowerment, and other cruel things. They are the evil Varen's followers because they are cultists and priests, and they even have Varen symbols. They worship Varen and destroy nature alongside him. That's way too evil. And those were my thoughts on which Hytale races are friendly and which of them are evil. Tell me what you think about this scale. Also consider subscribing as only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. Also check out my Twitter and Discord. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.